So guys, you've seen the thumbnail. Scupper covers, that's what we're covering today. <laughs> Excuse the pun. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned guys. Hello everyone and a very warm welcome indeed. Thank you for joining us on another episode of One Man and His Boat. For those of you who are new to the channel, very warm welcome. For those that have stuck from the beginning, you guys make this channel what it is today. Now, scupper covers, that's what we're cracking on with today. Why do we need scupper covers? Well, I'm not going to beat about the bush. Somebody at MCA has basically said every single boat is 16 metres in length, so we'll have to make them this freaking size for this size of boat. There's no point in buttering it up, that's what it is. When I started this channel, I said I'd tell you guys the truth. And basically guys, that is the truth. I mean, there's no consideration within the MCA on the size of vessel and on the safety because all they care about is actually ticking things off on a sheet. There, I've said it. Everybody's thinking it and I've said it. <laughs> so, as you can see, we've got a big gaping hole in the side of our vessels. We do have six of them. Now that's fantastic for letting water out, but what it also does is let water in because not all vessels sit square like that. And not all vessels steam. Some vessels have to do static work, which means they get chucked about with elements. So if water can come out the hole, water can certainly go in the hole. So what have we got to do? We've got to cover them up. Now there's ways and means you can do this, and this is my way on how I'm going to cover up the uh, mass scupper holes. Right everyone, obviously we've got our scupper hole itself. Now this is 50mm in height and 250mm in length. Now obviously we've got six of them, uh, but I want to make eight scupper covers because I want a couple spare just in case there's any damage and I especially think this one will get damaged the most since this is a work inside. Now, how can you cover these holes up? Well, you can do a multitude of things. You can actually just get a little bit of rubber uh, with a stainless steel plate we used to have them on the rock hopper and it just acts as like a one-way valve it'll just flap open to uh, the water coming out but it won't let the water coming in but you must have an inch over your actual scupper itself if you make it the same size it'll not have the same effect of keeping the water out uh, also what you can also do is uh, get a half drain pipe uh, obviously cut it in half put a bit of cling film over the top and then start doing some matting and some gel coat and then actually fiberglass it to the boat. I've seen a lot of boats uh, with this on and obviously with Barry being OTT on everything he does we're going to do ours in stainless steel. So guys why would I choose stainless steel? Well as you can see from the Lindsay B there's a lot of nice shiny stuff on her and I want to continue that throughout the boat. Uh, everyone has to sort of match and basically look beautiful as well as practical. So that is why I've chosen stainless steel. I guess time will tell if it's the right material to use or not, but that's what this channel's all about. It's all a learning process for us all. Right boys and girls, welcome to my prototypes. This was the very first one that I made out of scrap uh, stainless steel that I had lying around. And I wasn't quite happy with it because it's only like three quarters of an inch in depth. And as you can see, it's pretty darn rubbish. So I thought right we'll have another go but we'll try and make it a little bit bigger and this is now an inch high and I must say it's a little bit better, it's a little bit more sturdier as well. Now what we're going to have to do is make cap ends for these because this has to be solid. As the boat eh, moves forward we're not wanting any water coming in this way. We we're basically wanting the water to swish past and any water coming in the boat actually comes out this back end because this back end will be open and I'll show you on the scupper in a minute. Now how do we make these? Well we make these with part and parts as per everything else on the Lindsay B. Now this, obviously that was my first attempt with a three quarter and this is the inch. Now what I've done is I've marked, just for my own uh, peace of mind, 
is the degrees each angle. Now each angle is 30 degrees and that should be enough to let water uh, run off when, once they're on the boat. Now, uh, obviously there's actually longer than what the scupper is. This is 300 mils long. Uh, obviously the scupper's only 250, so you have a, a good distance between each end. Right guys, as you can see, this is what it'll look like on the boat. Lovely, lovely. Obviously that end will be capped because obviously the boat moves forward 90% of the time. And that should definitely keep the water out and let the water inside the boat out. But guys, before we actually crack on with making the scuppers, I've got a little bit more work that I should have done in the last episode. <laughs> so, cue the music buzz. Good morning guys, it's day two of trying to do these scupper covers and I must admit this 2 mil stainless steel is a formidable foe, I can assure you that. Um, I'll let you have a look. That's what I've got so far and as you can see some of the angles are not quite right. So this is my first time doing it with the 2 mil stuff so I'm going to keep working on that just now, try and get perfect my style and then I'll show you once we crack on with the other ones. <laughs>
So guys, if you think that Barry can't count, then you're absolutely correct. No, 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 what happened was I absolutely knackered up the profile of this one. So I've now only got seven, so I've got one spare um, cover, so. Actually, feeling them, I don't think they're going to take a lot of damage, I really don't. So, like I say, build things OTT. If you build it strong, it'll last forever. my friends I'm afraid that's all we have time for in this week's vlog unfortunately I've got a little bit of bad news uh, the welder's not coming for another three weeks now because he's he's just basically he's one man and he's trying to do what I'm doing and it's getting on top of him now so bless him he's got a lot of work in front of him <laughs> especially when he arrives to one man and he's bought and I can show you that so uh, next week's vlog guys what I'm going to be doing is more metal work again but we're going to be concentrating on the small hatches that I've got we're going to make the frames for them and basically the week after that I'll probably be cutting the pipe and ready for the welder to arrive so lots of metal work in the next few weeks uh, I hope you stay with us for that uh, if you enjoyed this video guys please give it a thumbs up uh, write a comment below if you have any questions, I'm quite happy to reply and subscribe to the channel and tick that notification bell and YouTube will make you feel very special indeed. Right my friends, all the very best until next week.